Hi, I'm Mishti Max, and I'm here to share this lip art based on the Queen of Hearts. I'm going for both an Alice in Wonderland theme and also playing cards, so it fits into my poker series. I've already done an Ace of Spades lip a long time ago, which you can find in the card and in the description box below. My lips have finally recovered from their bout of obscene dryness, and it's time to get down and dirty with some lip art. First, I primed my lips with MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base. Then I took my stubby little MAC lip pencil in Cherry and began to flesh out the top of the heart shape on my upper lip. I extended the curves at the top of the form beyond my lip line and rounded them out downwards into the middle of my mouth opening. I rubbed off any mistakes with a cotton bud, which is easy since the pencil is creamy. Then I completed the triangular lower half of the heart so it matched up with the top lip and then filled in the whole design, making any adjustments needed. I picked up the Rimmel Scandalized Pencil in pure white and outlined my lower lip to join up with the point at the bottom of the heart. The white pencil can pick up some of the red product, so I wipe off the end of my pencil frequently and use a cotton bud to remove any red transfer. I lined my top lip, also staying closer to the confines of my natural shape because I'm adding an outline later. Now I have the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Drug Lord, and I'm decanting some out on the back of my hand so I can use the Sigma L05 lip brush to get a little bit just on the tip and fill in the outer spaces of my lips. I'm applying the product very thickly on my lips to get maximum opacity and using the edge of the lip brush to create a sharp outline for the lip shape and taking the white right up to the edge of the heart. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can wipe off the liquid lipstick before it sets and the outline coming later can shore up the lines. That's why I'm starting with the lighter shade and then finishing with the red for the details. After the first thick layer, I fanned my lips to dry the liquid lipstick and then went back in with Drug Lord to layer up the color and get even closer to the heart shape. I'm wiping off the brush on my hand frequently when the brush gets close to the heart so I don't mix the red with the white and end up with a pink color. To get the white to be completely opaque, you can pat on the product instead of swiping it. Make sure it's dry before you go over the top with another layer. And I'm also going in directly with the applicator to press on the liquid lipstick and really saturate the lips. And when I was satisfied with the white perimeter, I reached for another Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, and this one is called Red Rum. Once again, I used my hand as a palette so I don't contaminate my tube, and I'm using a Sigma E06 winged liner brush to outline the shape and perfect the edges. I'm overlapping the white to get a clean, crisp shape, and this is the step that can correct your lines and needs to be as straight as you can get it. After fiddling with that for a while, I picked up a lip brush from Japanesque and dipped into my Red Rum Reservoir to fill in the heart with the matte red liquid lipstick. I got out some more product and went back to the fine angled brush and then began the arduous and delicate journey of lining around the lip shape. I overlined my upper lip to create a smooth flow from the top of the heart to contain the shape within one form. This brush really is amazing and allows you to draw very fine lines. It really bumps up your eyeliner game as well. I'm seriously in lust with this brush. And so here is the basic design of the Queen of Hearts lip art. I like this simple matte look and it matches with the Ace of Spades lip I've done. The uncomplicated outlined heart looks pretty cool as it is, but I really wanted to jazz it up a ton. So I knocked this bitch up a notch with some 3D elements. To do so, I will need my favorite adhesive Prosade, which is a special effects glue safe for the lips. And I'm taking this cosmetic cotton bud and dipping it into the latex based fluid to cover the heart shape on the center of my lips. You don't want to use a brush that you care about for this step, and you don't need a lot of the stuff because it's really sticky. You must remember that you need the appropriate remover if you're using this adhesive, and it's called Isopropyl Myrostate. I got mine from the same supplier online as the glue, listed in the description box. Next I'm whipping out my lovable Embelly Jelly Apparatus, which is simple but so very useful, and I'll be using it to pick up these red 3mm and 2mm rhinestones that I got off eBay. So I placed a couple of the small ones at the top and bottom points of the heart and then filled out the bulk of the shape with the larger rhinestones. Any spots that curved around or had gaps too small for the big ones, I fitted in the 2mm crystals, but I mostly used the 3mm ones for the majority of the heart. This adhesive goes totally clear, but stays sticky, and it holds on like all hell. So all I have to do is just place the stone down and press it lightly with my finger or the back of the stick, and it will stay on really well. 
I then filled out the lower triangle of the heart with mainly 3mm red rhinestones. I added a couple of 2mm crystals, sticking a few of them in the little places on each side, and I kind of wish I didn't do that, and stuck with only the 3mm stones, but it looked fine so it's okay. When I finished with the central form, I moved on to applying some prosate over the outline with the pointed cotton bud. Next, I went about the process of picking up the 2mm rhinestones with Embelly Jelly and placing them on the outline, totally encircling my lips until I come towards the end of the heart, at which point I ran out of 2mm stones and decided to phase in some 1mm rhinestones towards the bottom to finish it off. And I'm done sticking it to the man to give me this blingy 3D rhinestone lip art with a focus on the Queen of Hearts and the reflective brilliance of shiny stuff, which I really love. I've been holding on to this idea since about 2014 and I've finally done it. And a while after that I also had a request from Emily Grace on YouTube, so it's finally all out all over the screen. This look is another in my poker series of lip art. I love poker and after the Ace of Spades I had to do the heart based counterpart with some pizzazz and sparkle, but keeping in with the matte base and also playing with the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this 3D lip art tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also check out my band and podcast on iTunes.